non-fan, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was so much fun. Oh, good. And thank you for developing the characters and not just making it about an action movie. Um, so Elizabeth, um, mm. your Rita is pretty scary. I was surprised how scary she <laughs> She's pretty frightening. When the first images came out, though, there was a lot of um, criticism about your character. But I think you pulled it off. Oh, great. Yeah, I didn't read any of that criticism. Okay. So <laughs> I was totally I, cool. I, I, What was it? Tell I, us. What was it? Yeah, what, are they, what, are they <laughs> what did they say? Go into detail. Oh, my God. No. Was it like she's Tell us everything. I'd also no. I'd also like to add that this is. Uh, was she too pretty? She was too pretty, right? This is like the sexiest we've ever seen Rita Repulsa. I'd like yeah. to say, honest, honestly, I personally think, and I think that's dope. I think the aesthetic, everything, just goes together so well. So I thought it was sick. Yeah. Did you feel pressure to either imitate or, or you, what was your approach in this person that was this character was already existent? Yeah. Well, this script was is pretty different. The the we conceived of the character, I think, in a really modern modern way from she was so campy in the past. I loved the Rita Repulsa in, in uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, et cetera. Um, Cause she's so larger than life and she's sort of insane and she's got this crazy laugh. And I wanted to preserve some of that energy in the character, but also we had uh, deal with what was on the page in front of me. And I also thought it was really important um, that these guys felt like they were up against um, real stakes that she, you know, that she, yeah. Uh, really was threatening and didn't give a flying crap about them or humanity, Earth, cars, their parents. Like none of this makes any sense. Or she's an alien. She's sixty-five million years old. She also, <laughs> I gotta give Elizabeth huge uh, props. She learned that language, which I, <laughs> she fully could speak. Um, was it Eltarian? Eltarian. Eltarian. I had to do it to and <laughs> phonetically, and I could not do it. And then the whole time, Dean was like, you know, Elizabeth, you know, she learned this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, come on, man. And then I, I watch I said, a scene of her, and I'm like, gosh, she <laughs> did it, and she's really good. It's like a second, it's like a, her first language. Wow. Like you're from, yeah, no, but, but she, yeah, that was amazing. That was really, I, that's I, super I, hard. Yeah, I Skyped <laughs> with a woman who created our language, Correct. whose entire job was to come up with a Bill, fake language. Bill didn't Skype with her. Bill didn't scan with her. No. Wow. Yeah. I, mean, she's, I she's just said, gosh, if I don't get this right, someone from that planet might be in the audience <laughs> 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 and be angry. <laughs> I'll be honest, I only did it because I was told, and this might not be true, that Brian Cranston learned the language. Well, Brian and I <laughs> well, were Brian's both. Not here. Brian, no, no, no. So. Brian and I were doing it phonetically, and it did not sound the way you did it. So that was really awesome. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> 